Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to access files from your Docker Drupal instance, okay? So today we will be uh, installing two new Drupal instance with the file access, okay? First, you have to understand two things here. One is uh, Docker Compose. So Docker Compose is nothing but it's a YML file in your uh, folder. So it will contain set of uh, container details. When you run single command, all the container which you mentioned in your YML file will be created at once, okay? So uh, by single command, you can create n number of container by using this Docker Compose, okay? It's uh, same as uh, Jenkins, okay? And next is you have to understand about volumes. So what is volumes? Volumes in Docker Compose file will help you to mount your uh, system files with the Docker instance files, okay? So uh, you can uh, share the files from both the OS, from your host OS with the Docker OS, okay? So let's say how to do all these things. First, uh, I'm going to create a new folder in my desktop. So I'm going to create a new folder under desktop. So go to your desktop and mkdir folder is your Drupal docker files. Okay, so enter. Now the folder is created. Go to your uh, Drupal docker files. And next, I'm going to the Visual Studio. So open that folder in your Visual Studio. Drupal docker files. And here, I'm going to create a new folder, new file called compost file. So that is docker hyphen compose dot YML file. Okay, so now we successfully created a YML file for docker compose. And next you have to define a container here. Before that, uh, go to your, uh, I already have two commands. So this is the command which we already uh, ran in your previous video to install docker, uh, sorry, to install Drupal in your docker instance. So I'm just copying those two commands, okay. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open this in one side and let's close it. Okay, so I hope you can see both windows now. So we are going to convert these two command as a YML file here. So we are going to create a container by using the Docker Compose. So let's see how to do that now. So first you have to mention some version for your Compose. So you can give whatever and next, you have to give the services. So we have to define the services. We have two services. One is for MySQL and one is for Drupal instance. And first I have to define the MySQL. And next image. So as I already mentioned, this is the image for your MySQL, right? So copy paste the MySQL image. Copy, paste the image. And next you define the MySQL image. Next, we have environmental variable here, right? So you have to define that environmental variable. So you have to define environment. And in the name, you have to define here. Um, MySQL. And the password for it, MySQL root password, that is root we defined already. And this is the container name. It will be generated automatically when you run this. So you don't need to run that. And detach mode, we will run when it when we run the compose command. So that's it. We completed the MySQL services. And next, you have to define the Drupal. An image, you have to mention the same. And next, image. Next, we will define the ports. Ports is... Um, 80, 80 and colon 80, okay? So 80, 80, colon 80, okay? So port is also defined. And next is, you have to define the link. So here we are linking with our MySQL database. So links, that is with MySQL here, the service name, MySQL. And next, um, port is done, link is done, and environment, right? Environment, so environment is MySQL username. 
that is root here and one more uh, environmental name next environmental variable password for it okay so now we successfully implemented these two command as a yml file so whatever we have configured here we have uh, converted all into the compose file and next we have to link our mount from your this host os to the docker os right so to do that first you have to download the um, drupal in your local instance so as i already mentioned in the previous video the latest uh, drupal latest uh, image is using 9.4.8 so since i know that i am not going to uh, check it check it in the docker hub so if you want to uh, understand how to check it i will add the link in the previous video link so go and check it Mm. what is this uh, drupal file access right what is the folder name we created okay drupal docker files drupal docker files okay so we are there and now we have to run the command so this is the command Paste here and run it. So I'm going to uh, come download it in the current folder. So I'm giving dot. Mm, it's not empty. Okay. So let's download it without dot. So since we already have YML file in that folder, it is saying the folder is not empty. Let it download. After that, we will uh, copy paste it in the parent folder. So now we successfully downloaded the uh, folder. So this is the folder. I'm going to cut and paste it outside and delete this folder. So now we have web vendor folder in this Drupal Docker files. So now we are what we are going to do is that we are going to bind your uh, web web uh, vendor composer.json and composer.log file from this instance to docker instance so how we are going to do that in your compose file this is the compose file right here you have to define a keyword called volumes in your uh, drupal service i'm going to let do that so it's volumes colon and next you have to define uh, here the host path and the container path you can see here right i i already have an extension docker extension docker e extension so it is giving suggestions since i have already so in volumes you have to give the host path so from my current directory web2 i am going to give the path for where www html and for a uh, vendor The vendor path is slash op slash Drupal slash vendor. And next you have to give for a composer file. So composer dot JSON and that is opt Drupal slash composer dot JSON and next dot slash composer dot log colon slash opt slash drupal slash composer dot lock okay so now we uh, successfully uh, created the volume between two ways and i will tell you how i uh, created these four lines so from where you have to mount that and all I, I will tell you how i created so first let's run this command and let's do the setup at the end of this video i will show you how i found this Parts, okay so now we successfully created right so let's go to your command prompt here you have to run command called docker icon compose so we are going to run the compose here up iphone detach mode okay 
So Docker Compose command will uh, find for this Docker hyphen Compose dot OML file in the current folder. If it is there, it will start running that. So the same job the uh, Jenkins also will do. It's a compose, not composer. So you can see it started pulling both uh, images and it started creating the containers, okay? So since I already uh, created many instance, it's not downloading, it's using the existing. So already exist is coming here. So all the layers are getting download. So once you download it, you can see here the images are getting created and containers also, okay? So we have Drupal image here. One more container will be, uh, one more image will be added for image, MySQL, sorry. So uh, we have created two images successfully. So when you see here, uh, you can see here, it's a network is there, right? So network will be automatically created when you use Docker Compose. So whatever container you are defining in that Docker Compose file, all the uh, containers will be grouped into a single network. So you can see that from here. So when you go and see here, you can see only one uh, uh, container here. So both are uh, grouped into the single networks. That's why you have this here, okay? So this is how you have to create an image. So image is already running. Sorry, container is already running. Go to your uh, Chrome and uh, click localhost colon 8080, enter. You can see it, it take you to the install.php. So as like previous video, you have to install it. In setting.php, you have to copy paste web uh, sites default setting.php, copy, copy, and paste it here and rename. So now we successfully renamed it and go to your Chrome and refresh again. So now the error gone, it took you to the database configuration page. Here you have to define the database name and root username and root is the password as we configured. And host, you have to copy the container name. Click inside and uh, here you have to write, this is what our Drupal container. Copy paste the container name. And save and continue. It's throwing some error. Okay, sorry, you have to define a MySQL container, right? Copy the MySQL container name and paste it here. Save and continue. So Drupal started installing. So let it install. I will tell you how to access the MySQL uh, in your container. So you can access it from here, MySQL. So MySQL iPhone U root iPhone P and password root. So you can see show database basis. So you can see the Drupal which we created now. So you can give use Drupal and show tables. All the tables are getting creating now since we are installing now. Okay, so this is how you have you can access your MySQL database. And this is the Drupal, right? So in Drupal instance, you can access the files from the container. So uh, cd slash var ww slash html. LS. So here you can see all the files, modules, themes, all we created, right? So all we are uh, binded from your 
post OS. Okay. So let it download. The download is not yet completed. So this is the site, right? This is the web we hosted. So in module, there is no folder, right? So let's go there and show you CD modules. LS. So you can see here only readme file is there now. Create new folder here. It's a custom. Okay. When you go and print ls, you can see the custom folder is created, right? So whatever you want to do changes in your uh, Docker instance, you can do here. That will be shared from here to there, okay? And um, that's it. This is how you have to access the Docker files and also the um, MySQL. Let the download complete. I will tell you how I created the volumes here, the path, how I defined here, I will tell you, okay? Now site installed successfully, go, go here and give the uh, site name, docker install with files, email ID. Username, password, and new country and uh, default time zone submit. So now we successfully created a Drupal with a Docker installation with file access. And next we have to see the volumes, right? How I define here. So let me tell you how I de defined it here. First, you have to go to the Docker Hub. Here, uh, click on Drupal. Drupal official page. These and all I already uh, all these I already explained in your previous video. So I will add that link. You go and have a look about it. So I'm, I'm going to use the latest, right? So latest. So this is the latest. And here, so I'm using the Drupal latest uh, image. When you go at the bottom, so what actually they are doing here is that they are running some set of commands to do the Drupal installation. They are creating a project by using Composer with the Drupal version 9.4.9, version 9.4.9. So in the same way, we created a Drupal with the same command with the same version in our uh, Git bash. So this is the, this is how. And next, permission, everything they already gave. So next, what here they are doing, actually they are downloading all in this folder opt slash Drupal and they are linking this folder with this HTML. They are linking only the web folder, not uh, vendor or composer.json. So vendor composer will be in this same folder. Only the web will be uh, linked with the HTML. Okay. So we are overriding that with our volumes, uh, which means web will be from our current web will be moved to the HTML as they mentioned here. So web will be moved to the HTML and vendor, composer.json, composer.log, all they are downloading in this current working directory. So which means all will be in the Drupal vendor folder, Drupal composer.json, Drupal composer.log, okay? So I'm linking the same opt Drupal vendor, Drupal composer.json and Drupal log, okay? So this is how I uh, defined vendor by having looking into this image, okay? And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.